Hello, it's Amy. I hope you're all having a lovely day and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to be answering some of your guys' assumptions while I get ready. So, this is a get ready with me slash assumptions video. I thought I'd do the two in one just because it will be fun. So, I'm going to get started on my eyebrows. Take those off. So for my eyebrows, I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit on my eyebrow up until about the middle. And then for the other half, like this end, I use Gimme Brow from Benefit. And then I just use one of these to brush my eyebrow at the end. Benefit kindly gifted me both of these. So thank you so much to Benefit. I literally use them every single day when I wear makeup. So thank you so much to them. And let's get started on my eyebrows. I actually can't see the mirror at all from where I am because I haven't got my glasses on and I'm short-sighted and normally I have it a lot closer but I wanted the Christmas tree in a shot. <laughs> so for the first assumption I'm actually going to do three in one because all of these were assumed by the same person and they all have the same answer so I thought I'd just read them all out and then answer them all. So assumption number one is I assume that you have had lip filler injections. I assume that you have breast implants. I assume that you have hair extensions. And the answer to every single one of those is no, I do not have any of those things. The only one that I have had in the past is hair extensions. I'm not sure how long ago it was now, but I had hair extensions and I actually really regretted it because they weren't like clipping ones, they were ones that stayed in your hair all of the time and you had to get them changed every so often. I don't really remember how often, but they were really uncomfortable, I really didn't like it, and I didn't like the fact that when I felt my hair, like, it didn't feel, you know, there was all, like, stuff there, I don't really know, I just didn't really like it. Um, and then once I'd had my extensions in, for the amount of time you meant to have them in, it was time for me to change them, and I was either going to go way longer and get, like, way more extensions in my hair, or take the extensions out and cut my hair to, like, here. And I'm so happy that I made the decision to take the extensions out, cut my hair quite short, because now it has grown and I'm really happy with my hair. So I'm really glad that I made the decision that I did at the time. I'm now going to go on to do my eyeshadow. To do my eyeshadow, I'm going to use this I Heart Revolution palette, which I got a couple of days ago in my I Heart Revolution vending machine, which I love so much. Um, I believe this was the first product that I got in it and I love it. So I'm going to be using this shade here. I'm going to only use that shade and do quite a simple eye look um, just because I want to and it's quite sparkly and nice. So I'm just gonna use that shade. The next assumption that I got is you passed your GCSEs. Yes, this assumption is true. I did my GCSEs a couple of years ago now, so I can't remember all of my exact grades, but over on my vlogging channel, Daily Amy, I did post a vlog of the day I got my GCSE results, and I was so happy that day, and I was so proud because I did manage to pass all of them. Another assumption that I got is you have secret tattoos or piercings. This assumption is not true. The only piercing that I have ever had is my ear piercing, which I believe is probably closing up now because I haven't worn earrings in forever. <laughs> Um, would I ever like to get a tattoo or piercing? Um, piercings, I don't think so. I might change my mind in the future, but I don't really think I would want to. If anything, I'd get my ears re-pierced. Um, and if I had to get a piercing, it would probably be a belly button one, but I don't think I want one. And tattoo-wise, I don't think I would either, unless it was like my child's name or something like that in the future. But for now, I don't really want a tattoo or piercing and I have no secret ones. I love that eyeshadow so much. It isn't too bright or drastic or anything like that for an everyday look but it does have a bit of sparkle and it's just really pretty. I love it. So now I'm going to go on to do my eyeliner. For my eyeliner I'm going to be using this Wonder Wing eyeliner from Rimmel London. However I would also recommend the Collection Extreme Felt Tip Liner and this one. They are both great. As you guys can see, my eyeliner is now done. So it is now on to mascara. For my mascara, I'm going to be using this Their Real Mascara from Benefit. Benefit have also gifted this to me, so thank you so much to them for gifting me this. I use it all of the time and it's my favorite mascara. The next assumption that I got is you and Aaron aren't at good terms. No, this assumption is not true at all. Me and Aaron are very happy in our relationship and are at very good terms. 
makeup. Now I've just got a makeup wipe and I'm just going to wipe off any mascara that's gone under my eye so that I don't have mascara there. <laughs> now it's concealer time. I have my Rimmel London Lasting Radiance Concealer and I'm just going to apply this in the areas I feel I want to. I can't open it. There you go. I'm now going to be bronzing my face. I have my Hoola bronzer from Benefit, which was gifted to me. So thank you so much to Benefit. It's literally my favourite bronzer ever and I use it every single day. So thank you, Benefit. What is my next assumption? My next assumption is you run out of video ideas, so you repeat them. No, I would not say this assumption is true. Just like any other YouTuber, if there is a 24 hour challenge that I like, that I enjoy and love to film, for example, like my Only Using Pink products challenge, I will do the 24 hour challenge again, but completely differently, like I did it using red products afterwards. But this isn't repeating a video because it's completely different. Like the red challenge was a lot harder than the pink version. If you guys have seen both of those challenges, you would know. Also, I do upload twice a week. Um, if you guys don't know, I upload at 6 p.m. on a Wednesday and 4.30 p.m. on a Sunday. So, you know, I can't come up with a completely different 24 hour challenge every single time. However, I never repeat the same video. It's always, it's always like different, a bit of a twist. Something to mix things up a bit, you know, make things a bit interesting. So yeah, that assumption is not true. Next up, it's time for highlight. I have this Makeup Revolution highlight, which I'm going to be using. Looks so pretty, I love putting highlight on. Next, I'm going to be applying a bit of blush. I have this MAC blush here, which I'm going to be using. I absolutely love this. And the brush that I'm applying it with is not a blusher brush, I know, but I'm hoping I will be able to get a blusher brush for Christmas so I can apply my blusher with an actual blusher <laughs> brush because I bought the blusher and didn't have a brush to apply it with so now I just use this one. <laughs> the next assumption that I got is you love Christmas. Yes, this is true. I absolutely love Christmas. I love Christmas so much. I especially love the build up, like the Christmas songs, the Christmas films, the Christmas lights. I just absolutely love it. Like. Look at how amazing that tree looks, you know? It's just... I love Christmas. Let's put on some Christmas music for a minute, just to, you know, add a bit of Christmas into this video. So that is enough Christmas music for now. Well, you can never have enough Christmas music, but I do need to answer some assumptions. So I'm going to stop the Christmas music for now. The next assumption is Aaron likes or cares for you more than you like or care for him. This is not true at all. People do assume this because Aaron is more affectionate in videos as in a kissing, cuddling sort of sense. Um, I myself am quite a cuddly person, but not to the extent that Aaron is. Like, it's just my personality, it's the way I am. But I care for Aaron and love him so much. It does not mean anything, like how much I kiss him on camera and things like that. It doesn't mean anything. Of course, I love him so much and, yeah, this assumption is not true at all. So now it's time for me to do my lips. At the moment, I've actually been using this Fenty Beauty lip gloss because I just think it's beautiful. I actually love a good gloss, so let's put it on. So everyone, this is my finished makeup look. This is pretty much my everyday look. Like I will switch up a couple of things every now and again, but this is pretty much it. So before I end the video, I do have a little kind of not so juicy, but a little assumption about me. Um, the assumption is you are scared of spiders. This is 100% true. Um, my biggest fear, well not my biggest fear, I have a lot of quite big fears, um, but one of my biggest fears is definitely spiders. Um, for example, I'm a Celebrity is on at the moment. Um, will it be by the time this video is up or will it be finished? I believe this video will go up on the day of the final, which is quite exciting. Um, Bit Night I'm a Celebrity involves like a lot of spiders at times and stuff in the trials and stuff and I have to cover my eyes or I'll be like hiding like behind my blanket or something and if I watch then that night I won't sleep because I'll just be picturing spiders and I'll be paranoid that there's like a spider in my room or something. So yeah I have quite a big fear of spiders. <laughs> 
So everyone, that brings us to the end of today's video. It was really nice to film a like chatty video for all of you guys. I believe I haven't filmed one in quite a while. The last one that I filmed was answering questions I've been avoiding and a get ready with me. But I thought an assumptions one would be quite fun. So it was nice to have a little catch up with all of you guys and just a little chat. Leave a comment down below and I will reply to as many of you as possible and we can have a chat about literally anything you like. And thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you all and love you all so much. Thank you. Bye. I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys.